<laughs> it's just a lie. You're making me giggle. We <laughs> Becca's making me giggle. We haven't even talked about anything really funny. <laughs> no, no. Um, we don't know if Johnny's joining us tonight. That's why I put maybe next to Johnny. We're not sure. Um, if he does, he does. I sent him the link. If he does it, that's cool too. But next week we will be on his channel, just FYI. Um, so tonight it's just Jenny and I just hanging out. And and I'm sure we'll be talking about Godfather Don Snorleone. <laughs> and the Fart Caucus. And the Fart Caucus. I, I just, I... <sighs> I think that's why I'm tickled. It's like it, it's just, like we read last Sunday on is he going to make sounds in court like farting and stuff, and I swear to God, I think when I get questions like that, spirits like you need to look at that because it's going to be a big deal. Yeah. So I feel like they're you know kind of channel questions in a way, and sure enough, it blew up all over Twitter and everywhere in the in the mainstream media. I mean, I I thought Joy Reid was going to lose it <laughs> trying to talk about it. I didn't I didn't watch Joy Reid, but what I find funny though is that he hasn't come out and made a statement about it. Because remember when they were saying that he stinks, and he was very quick to come out and make all these statements. Yeah. yeah, deny it. And now it's like it's radio silence, you know, so. <laughs> well, at least him. one thing is silent. <laughs> yeah. Jules in, the, Jules in the chat is saying that he is uh, far, farticus. Like, we are Spartacus. Like, no, we are Farticus. <laughs> Uh, the nicknames on Twitter were I, like it, there were a hundred of them. It was, it, it was like crazy. I'm telling you, so, are, that was the very happy. last question we did last week. So if you missed that um, mystery achiever timestamp, it was the very last question I think, or the second of the last we looked at. Yeah, yeah. Twitter was having no chill, no chill when it came to the reports of him tooting in the in the court. You know, like. And then today I was watching a video very briefly before um, I sent out the invites. Um, it was uh, Michael Popak from Midas Touch saying that Donald Trump is really starting to piss off the jurors, you know, so. And the judge, you know, the judge, like they've been reading from the transcripts when he's like, you know, sit down, you know, shut up, basically. Mm -hmm. And then um, I saw in Midas Touch today, he just filed an emergency appeal with, um, the appeals court in Manhattan to stop the trial on Monday saying that he's not, he can't get a, a fair jury. Um, so we can read on that. I mean, he's, he's, he's trying everything he's to stop that trial because everything he's, he's managed to stop the other three, you know, he's going to um, stink everybody out of the courtroom if he has to, to stop that trial. <laughs> It's gonna be like so, a gas chamber. They're gonna give people gas masks in there. Put 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 that menthol item stuff in your nose. <laughs> so you don't smell them. Somebody walking around with Febreze air freshener, like oh my god, can you imagine what if he's sharding, Jen? Not what if he's sitting there sharding? Like well, I'm sure he is wearing his like, diaper, you know. Remember when you were little kids and you used to make the fart noise like this? Well, yeah, but first, <laughs> first question when we get ready to read, I want to ask is, is there anybody on the jury that's going to, or anyone in the courtroom that's going to just start laughing? Because you know when somebody farts, like it makes you laugh. <laughs> it's like, whoa. <laughs> but uh, before we do that, if I may uh, uh, do a little announcement, um, if you would like a reading with Jen Lin, JenLynTarot.com. I have just a few openings at the end of August and then September is open. I think I have like two or three appointments left in August still available. And yes, I'm booking up further in advance for my repeat clients. So those that are thinking they might want a reading in the fall might want to get on the books. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, for me, I'm back to doing personal readings again. I only offer one hours and grand tableaus. Um, you can contact me at House of Lenormand Readings at gmail.com. Um, that's all I got for my announcements. I, I don't know how his lawyers can sit next to him. <laughs> 
I just can't imagine. I'd be like, I mean, remember that video of what was her name? The the one that passed away from California. Which what are you talking about? The senator from California that passed away. Oh, last um, Diane Feinstein. Yeah, remember that one time where he cut one next to her and she was like, <laughs> you know, like this reminds me. Looking. It reminds me of 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 uh, when Julie uh, Rudy Giuliani farted on that girl and then she got COVID. Remember when he was like during that whole fiasco at the press conference and then he farted on her and then she got COVID. <laughs> You know, like mm -mm. somebody commented in the in the comments on the last video we did last Sunday about you know not talking so negatively about Adderall. There is a difference between your prescribed Adderall and you're taking it as a medication in a controlled way to someone who is grinding it up and snorting it. So no, we will talk about his Adderall addiction. <laughs> Mm -hmm. If you're using it in a mindful way, medication, you know, just that's like really good. that's what you're supposed to do with it. Just like Elon Musk that recreationally does ketamine for whatever the hell reason. And look at him. He's yeah. a whacked out yeah. nut job, you know. He, Trump was a coke addict back in the 70s and 80s. He uh, was using Adderall when he was on The Apprentice. That's well known. I mean, you don't even need us to read cards on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yes, you know, when when people are <laughs> snorting Adderall and, uh, you know, it's probably part of why he's lost control of his bodily functions. I wonder if he's fake sleeping when he's farting. Like if he's like, you know, it's trying to fake sleep so he doesn't, you know, look like he, it's him. <laughs> it's just, here's the thing, though. Clearly this guy, I mean, we don't need to, we don't need to assume it's plain as day. He's, he's fucking stupid. Yeah. Stupid. Like the way he's, his behavior in court and the way he treated judge and Goron was what caused him to get that ridiculous freaking fine. That oh by the way, Letitia James is like, oh that um, that bond, the hundred seventy five million dollar bond, yeah, it's fake. Can I go back and take his assets? You know, so that's going through the courts. So he didn't learn from that because he's pulling the same stuff in this one, except this is a criminal trial. You're he doesn't learn from anything. Judge. You're pissing off the jurors. Your petulant little poopy butted child. Yeah, and then <laughs> he's over the like, oh, let's just drop everything and make everything a misdemeanor. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, do you think you can sit there and punch people in the face and then they're going to be like, okay, no, that's not how it, this works. We all fart, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. a bodily function. Usually 99% of people will say, excuse me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. This guy, I mean, you want to talk about shit for brains, dude. I I personally think that sometimes he's falling asleep and other times he's just kind of like just doing it to be defiant. Yeah. Because you know? they say his jaw looks slack after a while when he falls asleep. But I'm wondering if he's fake sleeping some too. But, you know, and, and he's got his little coloring book they're giving him did you hear about that <laughs> no they are giving him a coloring no he has a woman he pays like a hundred thousand a year to she's the one that she carries around a portable printer <clears throat> and she she prints out positive articles on him you know because he needs his ego boost all the time yeah so she's the one they pay a hundred thousand dollars a year just to print positive articles they, they put it in a binder and he sits there and, um, you know, if you saw the Midas Touch video, he edits art, uh, articles. So he leaves out when he quotes them, he leaves out the part that uh, he doesn't like. So he goes through these articles in court with this little Sharpie and lines through the part he wants to delete out before he quotes it, like in a tweet or something. Oh uh, so yeah, he's got his little coloring book, and you know, you said he needs the little uh, coloring placemat from Denny's. <laughs> well, yeah, he got it menu with a crayon, and just tell him, look, this is an IQ test. If you pass, 
the judge will it, the judge is gonna is gonna drop everything. That's a perfect way to distract him. Just give him kids menus and tell him it's an IQ test. Yeah, he's a, he's a petulant child. Oh my God, hey, Reverend Reverend's better Rose. behaved than he is. <laughs> Rose Roro's smarter than he is. You know, I mean, what a buffoon! What a what a buffoon! So, where where do you want to start? Well, here I, I want to. I want to start with: Is somebody going to break out laughing when he farts? Is somebody in the jury? Is somebody either in the jury or in the courtroom? Is somebody just going to like, you know, I can't anymore? <laughs> just laugh. Be really funny if it was the judge. <laughs> I'm surprised Biden hadn't cracked jokes about him farting in court yet. But you know he's really good about not commenting on a court case because you don't, you don't. Uh, presidents aren't supposed to because they, they could affect the outcome of a case. Mm Somebody's going to. I I think it'll be a, a man. Uh, somebody's going to like they're trying to block it. They're trying to stifle it. But I I think they're going to get the giggles. Somebody's going to somebody that's watching. Um, may even be like a lawyer or something. Some somebody's going to crack up. His his image isn't going to be able to take it either. Yeah. They can't control it forever. It's just a matter of time. It's like they're they're biting their uh, lips to not laugh right now. It looks like. <laughs> um, I gotta know. I get that they're that they're somewhere where they can't be seen and they're separated from it. Well, that was a question I was going to ask. Are are they going to put the petulant child in that? separate room off the courthouse you know like put him in a glass room there's the knowledge to keep them quiet be quiet the trouble is blocked the person that's vindictive and problematic is blocked so i think well, we should... that, will they yeah will they will they put him in that that room because, off the courthouse because that was my next question <laughs> tuesday is when judge and gore or judge marshawn is going to start reviewing the stuff for all of his violations to the gag order mm -hmm. that's on tuesday so so will they will they put him in that room off to the side glass and close him so he has to smell himself <laughs> yeah the the room with the glass windows it's like he's blocked somehow to be quiet It's funny because when we asked last week, you got the coffin. And it's like they're going to put him in oh. a box, you know, to put him in a box. Like I said, every time I've been called to jury duty, which I have gone, they've always settled. So I've never sat in a jury. I've just gone and spent the whole day there. And then they settle and then we get sent home. So I've never, I've only been inside of a courthouse maybe two, three times in my whole adult life. And I don't ever, I've never seen one of those glass boxes. Is it, is it for real? Yeah. Yeah. They have a, a room up to the side that, you know, if somebody is uh, uh, held in contempt, so to speak, of court, you know, they can isolate them if they're, if they're commenting too much or farting too much. <laughs> it's just being disruptive. Just. Mm 
Ooh, that's a big yes. They're going to secure him somewhere. Judgment coming on him because he's he's fighting. Um, uh, just just a second. Um, for the people that are new, and I don't mean to sound like a bitch, but for the people that are new, we don't discuss other readers in the chat. We don't. So thanks. Go ahead, Jenny. Uh, you know, something that's coming up from the past, uh, you know, that he's fighting. So I, I get a big yes, the judgment to secure him, uh, to end, end his outburst, so to speak. Yeah, it's a, it's like the lawyers and, and you know, his image is going to be like done, toast. <laughs> He's going to be super gagged. And the question was, will they put him in one of those things? I, I get a no. I get that there's an order that is made because of something that he keeps doing that's vindictive and abusive. So witness or jury tampering or witness he's, tampering. He's or, abusing, intimidating, and it's repetitive. It, it, he keeps doing it over and over and over and over and over again. There's a pattern to it. Um it, it's he's a chronic problem. But there's an order for it. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm wondering, I think we asked it last week, but Let's ask it this way. On Tuesday, Judge Mershon is supposed to be hearing the case of the 10 times Donald Trump has violated the gag order because they were out of court Wednesday. And since yeah. Wednesday, he violated the gag order 10 times. Who knows how many more he's, you know, violated. Not over the weekend. I was going to say that doesn't include whatever's happened over the weekend. Yeah. So, um, so will Judge Mershon... Hold Trump, because I know that Alvin Bragg was asking for a thousand dollars per violation. Well, that was only after the third strike. That would have been three thousand. We're up to ten. We're up to ten now, um, and and it has been intimidating jurors by posting all that stuff that he retweeted. Well, he didn't retweet. He typed it out from Fox News, um, and even if he did retweet. That was against the well, gag order, and that was one of the things that came out in the um, um, uh, document. What do you call it? The um, the thing from the trial, the transcripts from the trial. Mershon, when they asked them to release the first witness names, he is like, "No, you know, you can't control your client. Yeah. We see what he's doing, so he's and already signaling." He's violating um, the gag order. It's supposed to be for, um, they weren't supposed to say who the first witness is tomorrow, but the New York Times already has all these articles that it's going to be David Pecker. So who knows? Um, but but let's ask, let's ask, will Mershon hold, I mean, I, what is that criminal contempt when they put you, when they detain you pending trial? Yeah. Cause he's because he's just... Uh, a money fine is not going to do it. Will Judge Mershon hold Donald Trump in criminal contempt? Contempt. Yeah, Johnny will be joining us later if he makes it home in time. He had to go somewhere today. So will Judge Mershon hold Donald Trump in criminal contempt for continuously violating the gag order? That's the and, question. And do something more than financial. Well, that's what criminal contempt mm -hmm. is, I thought, from what the way that Midas Touch explained it. I think he's going to start with monetary fines and wait to see 
what else he does to try to bully and get away with things. Um, I do think isolation of some kind get uh, of the liar uh, they will do, but I think they're going to start with fines. I get a yes. Suffering and pain for a manipulated manipulative man. Suffering, pain, punishment. Manipulative man. I, I get a yes. It's coming. It's a coming. It's a coming. So, according to Midas Touch's video from today, Donald Trump has made an emergency appeal to stop the trial on Monday. Um, I haven't seen anything on Twitter, but since Elon Musk took over, Twitter is a shit show. Like, good luck trying to get anything that's new on Twitter on the feed because he's been he's been fucking with the traffic. So amplifying right wing conspiracies and you know um shutting up uh left leaning um voices. So I want to know according to Michael Popak there's a I guess an appellate judge that sits on stuff over the weekend. Um but he's trying to stop the trial on Monday. Um, so yeah, he, he's trying to stop the trial and have a change of venue. Um, will Donald Trump be successful in stopping the trial on Monday with the emergency ap appeal that he put up? It, what's funny is when he talks outside the courtroom, he admits to his crimes. Like he, he just flat out admits to yes i i wrote a check and I don't think so. Yeah, we're asking about is there going to be a delay or uh, anything? You know, he's hoping uh, that there is. Here's Trump the liar. Um, his his request is, you know, his question that he asked is wrapped up. I, I, I get he's constrained, re restricted somehow. So, and, and fines paid. So, no, trial's going forward. Mm-hmm. I get a suffering man that's going to have to shut up. There's the pain and suffering. There's the man. He's going to have to be quiet, shut up, and take it. So. <laughs> Rin and Bear. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um. So so switching switching gears. Um. Hold on. Let me see what else. Okay, we've already read on this one. Okay, so switching gears. Sarah Hucka Sanders. There have been criminal referrals made for the whole thing. For the election gate. Yep. From Republicans mm -hmm. that were investigating. Yep, criminal referrals. Now, there's, I'll see what the cards say. But considering who she is and the name that she has, I'm sure somebody will make a call and or daddy, yeah, you know, was saying, her daddy, somebody, and then they'll just the shit will fall on somebody else. But just for just for fun, I could be wrong. That's just me being cynical. Um, is is Sarah Hucka Sanders going to be found? Well, hold on. I can't word it that way. Because I want to know if there's going to be a criminal referral for her. Because all it says is criminal referrals have been made. To who? To, to the oh. woman who did the altering of the document because Sarah told her to? Or yeah. criminal referrals on Sarah? 
So how's this going to go for Sarah? Will she have a criminal referral? Ooh, my legal cards keep flying out. <laughs> and it's always the Republicans, dude. Always. Always. Out of all this shit, we have one dirty Senator Mendez, Menendez in New Jersey. Everybody else has been Republican. So... <laughs> There's going to be an indictment. First card. The evidence is there. Uh, I'm getting there maybe for like uh, three people uh, for her gaslighting on it and everything, but she'll try to block it. She'll try to she'll try to bring it to an end, but I don't think that's going to go well. Exactly, John France. That's what I was thinking. Like, yeah, but Daddy's pulling strings, so she yeah. she might try to pay somebody off. Mm -mm -mm. There's going to get more questions asked of her, too, because there's other stuff she's done in secret. Uh, guess, what you getting? Uh, I'm getting about the vacation. Whoever books the vacation, because it's the ship, the letter, and the heart. Whoever made yeah. that vacation. The three women that uh, had a good time on that. So it's more than just the lectern. It's, it's also the... I'm gonna ask it this. I'm gonna ask it this way. Will Sarah Hucka Sanders be indicted? Because that would be embezzlement from the government, wouldn't it? Yeah, false from fraud, fraud in the government and how you're processing expenses. So will Sarah Huckabee Sanders be indicted? I asked it a little differently because I, I get they're going to have success with getting her out. Um, you know, asking questions that she's trying to put to an end, but all that corruption, she's going to be put in defense mode of the corruption. Um, and because she's the one that told them to shift stuff in the documentation, um, I, I, I get victory in, in getting her to vacate. There's there's other stuff she's done in secret. There's there's more that's going to come out on her. Deborah Gilbert in the chat is saying that the Attorney General of Arkansas has already said he's not pursuing charges. Wow. The fix is in, y'all. The fix is in. I get a transfer, transition, but there's there's something there about a vacation, and then there's the records and the money. She's going to get away with it. Maybe some other people will get thrown under the bus. Someone, some other people with not such big names. Um, you know, it, the problem is you can't embarrass these people out of office. In the old days, they would resign, right, and leave. Oh yeah. Oh <sighs> yeah. You they, can't embarrass them out of office anymore. No. Nope. 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 Um, let me see. Oh, here's a fun one. Remember that guy in Congress that got booted because he said everybody was having sex parties and stuff in the wheelchair, Madison? Uh -huh. Oh, he had a little fender bender due to road rage in Miami, Florida on the I-75. Um, 
he was up on this lady's butt in her in her car and you know just driving like a crazy person uh he ended up rear-ending a police car yeah she got she got over and out of the way and went further down the road and there he was rear-ended into a police car <laughs> so madison cawthorn former you know representative of wherever the hell uh, one of the Carolinas, I forget, is it? Uh huh. Just uh, rear-ended a police officer coming back from. I guess he was coming back from Mar-a-Lago or something, because I think he was at one of the events. Um, let me see. Yeah. So, um, and then based on what was being reported, um, the cop kept going like this to his neck. So I'm wondering if the cop got whiplashed because Madison Cawthorn was driving like a. Cloud into him on an interstate, you know, he had to be doing at least 65, you know, mm -hmm. and, and because he was speeding, he was probably doing more than that. He's probably doing 80 or 90 or something. Yep. Yep. So, in his sports car. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. We got, we got Hot Wheels in Texas. Uh, John's calling him Madison Andretti Cawthorn. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I mean, uh, uh, is, 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 I've never been in a fender bender. I would never want to be in a fender bender rear-ending a cop. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or highway patrol or whatever it was. Yes, so, you can drive a car uh, even if you're in a wheelchair. They have hand yes. controls. Mm -hmm. It's manual. They're like been manual. around a long time. Mm -hmm. so, uh, um, so the I-75, yeah in Miami is like the Indy 500. Mm -hmm. I know I was born and raised in Miami, dude. It's no joke. So is he going to go to jail? Because <laughs> yeah. Lose his license, something. Lost his seat in Congress, losing his license, going to jail. Like what the, I hope those sex parties are still going, Madison. <laughs> Like, I mean, what do you have to look forward Is, to now? Loses insurance, something. It's like, can you imagine calling here? Um, I just had a cop car. <laughs> <laughs> I would die. I would die. <laughs> I was just in an accident. I slammed into a cop. He's holding his neck. I think he has whiplash. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if he was under the influence, but all it was. It said it said sort of road rage, like he was. Yeah, just, like he was driving rage. with road rage, like because he was the lady that filmed it, because he was getting all road ragey with her, and she she got out of the way and then slowed down and let him go through because he was road raging all over the place, and then she gets further up the road, and there's Madison Cawthorn, the same person that was up her ass, rear-ended a cop. It's, by the way, is what you should do if you get a road rager around you, just get over and let them by. They're mm -hmm. gonna, you don't need to that's, lose that's, your own life over it. <laughs> that's an accident waiting to happen right there. So, Madison Cawthorn I'm going to go to jail. Because that's, that's, uh, it's not vehicular homicide, but it's uh, endangerment. Um, Reckless driving, I think it's what it is. Um, yeah, but it's a bigger, uh, yeah, when you're endangering that many people and stuff, it's, um, it's more than just a speeding ticket, is mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. I, I think. Uh, somebody's connected that's going to try to fix this for him and make everything okay. Somebody's going to manipulate this. Um, I wonder who, could that, who that would be since he has no... Unless he sucks Trump's dick and then Trump's like, yeah, yeah you know? That's the only I'm thing not, I can think of. 
Because I mean, they I'm not me. sure that he wasn't under the influence. Because uh, that's one of my drinking cards, uh, and then abundance right by it. Like he 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 may have blown a what it, what is it yet to blow to be legally drunk. It, he's going to lose something in court. Um, so whether that's his license or something, but I don't get jail. I don't get jail either. I get that. Um, uh, he could have caught, he caused an accident, scythe and man accident. Um, it's not jail, but something gets either his license or something else that they take away from him. Um, so, but I don't get jail time at all. So even in Florida, you can't fix it completely. You hit a cop. <laughs> I mean, do you have to be? I mean, well, changing gears for a second. Here's a banned books update. Um, for those of you that are new that don't know, I am an avid reader. I support public libraries and reading whatever the hell you want. You don't like a book? Don't read it. Doesn't mean you have the right to take it away from everybody else, you know? So, uh, Penguin, um, oops, sorry. Penguin Random House. There was a banned books update. Uh, the Iowa Senate file 496, okay? Um, so five publishers will join the lawsuit against the state of Iowa and the book banning provisions of Senate file 496, a historic challenge to protect the right to publish and read books. Um, so Hatchet Book Group, HarperCollins Publishers, Macmillan Publishers, Simon & Schuster, Sourcebooks, uh, and uh, let me see. We'll be joining Penguin Random House alongside the Iowa State Education Association, four renowned authors whose books have been removed in Iowa schools and classroom libraries, three educators, and a high school student. So my question is, will they win that, that lawsuit? Will they, are they trying to get the books back in class? Uh-huh. Okay. So will they win getting the books put back in class? In Iowa State. I just don't understand it. You don't want to read it? Don't fucking read it. You have no right yeah. to tell everybody else they can't read it either. It's, it's, if it were up to me, I fucking hate Fox News. I'd ban that shit worldwide. Does, do I have the right to do that? No, <laughs> you know, but so I had seen an article somewhere, and I forget what it were, was, if it was Midas Touch or somewhere else, where all these book bans and, some, and stuff goes back to this one main woman who's the mastermind of getting everybody else to ban books all over the U.S. I think they'll win it. Um. And they may turn around and do this other places too. You know, the, here's the, the schools. Um, I I think they'll, you know, to send a message from the courts. I, I, I think they'll win it. Get to calmer waters on this and then move on to other Republican places where they're trying oh, to. They're, 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 right. um, there's a bunch of publishers throughout the U.S. that are trying to fight back against these book bans and not just in schools and public life in school libraries, but also in public libraries, because these people, these book banners have taken it to public libraries as well. Yeah. You yeah. know, which is that's against someone's first amendment, right? You don't want to read it. Don't read it. Doesn't well, give and there's some states that are trying to dictate the curriculum in colleges. It's like, you yeah. can't do that. I mean, you know, uh, they're not done yet. There's, there's going to be more, 
things yeah. that they go after more states, more places. Mm -hmm. I get, yes, there's um, the offer, something that brings you joy that was blocked. You can't get to it, but then it moves forward. So I get that, get that, it get, that they, when it gets unblocked, things start to move forward. I'm sure Fahrenheit 451 isn't that the book, the book about banning books and yes. banning books is probably yes, that, on the banned that, list. <laughs> it is on the banned list. So is um, uh, the handman, the Handmaid's Tale. Well, of course you would want to ban it because that's their freaking game plan for the entire U.S. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? It's like it's a fictional novel, not an instruction manual. But let's go ahead and ban <laughs> that one too. You know, that's where you know who was it? Uh, the other day. Oh, I was watching the comedian Josh Johnson. He is so funny. And I, I think I sent you a link to the video. He was talking about, you know, Arizona and the 1864 law. And he said, fine, but let's make them live like it, it was 1864. Uh, say goodbye to your toilet and you get sick. Oh, so sorry. No medicine for you. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, make go them pray. go back to go pray. Go pray over there. And that 1864 law, Jen, the age of consent was 10. That law was written by a serial child rapist. Yeah. And to say, yep, that's what yeah. we're going to do. And they and weren't even a state yet. So. Yeah. And then there's the other state that passed a law where you can marry your cousins. I'm like, great. So the Republican Party is the now the fuck your cousins party. The make rapist uh birth your children party, the uh, age of consent is 10 years old party. I mean, it's just, it's, it's insanity at this point. It's so off the rails that it's just like, it's worse than the wild west at this point. It's like the dark ages, <laughs> you know, it's the it's dark still ages. all over the place. It's, it's just ridiculous. Yep. So, I had seen something on the news and I failed to research it. So we're not going to read on it. But um, the headline was that the Supreme Court has effectively banned mass protests in three states. Um, there was a case that went up to the Supreme Court. And Has the decision come down on that yet? Yeah, I don't, I, I think it, it was the preliminary hearing um, because it was over the insurrectionists because they were asking about the, the length of the sentences and everything. And no, 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 not that one. Not that one. This one, this it's not, it's not with the insurrectionist. It's something else where it, I saw it on, I saw the headlines and I didn't read it. I just made a note of it. Um, but it was saying that, yeah, that they're banning peaceful protests in three states, which isn't that in the, constitution like yeah. did they just i don't know did they sit there and take out their constitution and then went into their desk and got their white out and just said nope 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 it's not there anymore see yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like it's 1864 again sorry it's not no, there <laughs> not there not there um so let me see let me see let me see okay the fart team the fart team jen the fart team do you hear about that? The team, a whole team, a whole a whole team. It's called the Fart Team, the Floor Action Response Team. Short oh, short-handed <laughs> as fart. <laughs> <laughs> Did they not think it through when they named that committee? <laughs> I, I mean, we're not talking the brightest of the brightest here, but the, is the this an MTG one? <laughs> uh -huh. The fart team, the floor action response team, shorthanded as fart. Okay. <laughs> <In there. laughs> I'm going to be where it blows up that Trump is farting all the time. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> yeah, the fart team, floor action response team, shorthanded as fart, aims to guard against an unannounced request to pass res resolutions that would limit a group's leverage. Um, so what they're doing is the fart team. I know it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and a bunch of other um, crazies. I think Paul Gosar and all those other ones have come up with the fart team. That's their task force to keep an eye on the floor so that uh, Moses Mike can't bring resolutions to the floor to, to change the rules to keep his seat. So the fart team. 
the fart scene. I'm not joking. <laughs> I don't think, yeah, like you said, I don't think they thought this through or they, I, I mean. <laughs> Is it a silent request? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can't, don't know if I can do this one. <laughs> the fart team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they're, they're trying to, to get these people to keep an eye on the floor to make sure that nothing passes that would help Mike Johnson keep his seat. Well, we already know that the Dems are, it, it, here's the thing. I did Marjorie Taylor Greene's Grand Tableau on the 11th. I meant to go live Friday and Saturday, didn't get a chance to. Um, they're passing the Ukrainian aid bill and Paul Gosar, this other wacko, I can't even remember his name, and Marjorie Taylor Greene are looking to push to oust Johnson for help in Ukraine. In this tableau, the book is in the House of Birds. And I said, there's a meeting that's going on about a conflict because right next to it is the whip with, a, with something that is small, Ukraine. She's not privy to what's going on in that meeting. How interesting that Mike Johnson all of a sudden turned around and said, yep, we need to pass Ukraine bill. You cannot tell me he didn't go into a meeting where they got the intelligence or if it was like the gang of eight or whatever it was that said, yeah, if we don't fund Ukraine, they're going to lose that war in like before the end of the year. And all of a sudden we got to, we got to, because for the long, for the last seven or eight months, they've been like, nah, no, nah, let them do whatever they want. Let them do whatever they want. Let them do whatever they want. You know? And all of a sudden, Something happened. Whiplash, because he, he had just been at Mar-a-Lago with Trump, and it, it was like whiplash. It's like, oh my God, he's going to let him vote on it, and and then it passed. It was like uh -huh. there were 112 Republicans, I think, that rejected it. But yeah, it's right in the middle of her, the heart of her tableau, a secret meeting about a fight with something that is small for power. There's a really large force here, power in the in the entire area. Um, that it with an enemy. That's, I said that in that tableau. Um, so the fart team was established. Um, is the fart team going to be successful? Yeah, because she's I, I, support. Have, Even on Fox News, they were turning against her. Oh yeah, they wrote that whole article where she's an idiot. They called yeah. her an idiot. And here's the thing. Here's here's we have the Avengers. Uh, who who's the uh, the Avengers? And then we got the the other one with the space raccoon. Which one is that? We have all these Marvel comics with like these these groups of you know superheroes. And then we have the fart team. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Superman, Batman, fart team. You know. So is the fart team going to be successful? Guardians of the Universe. Yes, that's the one that I was thinking with the little raccoon and Groot. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, we had another Republican that's not running for re-election. And... Well, so far there was a there was a um an interview with the other crazy bitch, Laura Loomer, who was saying that there's two more that are getting ready to resign. I'm like, oh, please, please make my day. Because another one just um, came out the other day saying he's not seeking re-election. I sent you the article. I didn't write down his name. There, you know, they're they're all you know pissed off as they always are that that there was you know victory on securing the money you know for Ukraine for foreign. Um, uh, they're going to be constricted more. I'm getting they're going to be uh, bullied somehow. 
Um, you know, it'd be great if some of these people would like put the word out there, like, you know, loudly so she doesn't get reelected and they have to deal with her again. Well, the person that she ran against last time was Flowers. And you can't there tell me. would be an action ticket against her. So maybe censuring. Censuring. Remember, I said I needed to go live because I found more stuff. She's got the scythe in her house in this grand tableau. She's. But that's. Like committees. Well, it's not like committees. I don't. Because the garden is too far away, but the lily sits above it. So it's almost like there's uh there it's the moon, the whip, the lilies, the scythe, and the clover. Her career or her reputation as an abuser, as someone that is just you know, something about, crazy. <laughs> yeah, something here about um ethics. And then there's the scythe on her. So uh, there's a complaint as well because the the whip is a complaint so it's almost like there's uh complaints filed against her for ethics to have her cut off or something but right, that right. they can her. censure her they can take her off committees they can impeach her but i don't see them doing that i don't no, i don't think no. they'll get that for Expul expulsion i don't see it um well Scythe but she, she's obviously Scythe a russian She's obviously a Russian uh, uh, asset. Um, they could they could take her off all the committees so she doesn't get any inside information on There's, intelligence or anything. Because her tableau opens up with the fox in the House of Ryder. So news of fraud or the arrival of someone that's coming in to look around. Okay. A spy, someone that's covert, whatever. And that's followed by the garden in the house of coffin. And then in the bottom corner, coffin in the house of moon. So it's almost like a, I don't want to say sleeper agent, but there, it's almost like there's an investigation into the party, members of the party, um, where it ends careers. And, and the publicity and the popularity comes to an end and then and it could also be in regards to her trying to take out the speaker because right next to her that closes out the corner is the birds which would be speaker and it's birds woman ship so so whether it's that she wants to be speaker of the house it ain't gonna happen because the bitch ain't got the votes you know so yeah whether it's Jack Smith investigating, you know, people in the house, um, which we've always gotten, or, or if it's a ethics committee, you know, that's investigating these people. There's, there's some sort of a complaint that goes in against her to cut her out. Um, but that doesn't show up for another three months. If I'm looking at the lines as, um, so, I mean, she doesn't, okay. To answer that question, they're not going to be successful. It's going to be a lot, fish, a lot, an abundance, clouds, a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs> In the For the fart committee. <laughs> the fart committee is going to be one big gas cloud. And also, if they were looking to fundraise, uh-uh. If this is money, besides being a lot, an abundance of something, no. This is just ambition on their part and ego. No, it's 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 not even a good camp uh, a fundraising campaign. So um so so will they bring a vote to the floor to vacate the speaker cuz they've got three people now back got three them. people, three crazies. Um uh, well, no, I think it's four because it's Marjorie Taylor Green, that one guy I can't remember, Paul Gozar, and then Matt Gates was also running his mouth about stuff the other day, but I don't know if he's officially well, really signed on. I, I think it was three. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that guy, I can't think of his name either. I'm drawing a yeah. blank. So will we'll, they bring a motion to vacate the chair? Massey, thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. Massey. 
Macy Massey, whatever the hell his name is. Hi, mom. I see you in the chat. Your daughter or your granddaughter is not with me. She's downstairs probably getting fed dinner. They may try, you know, I think, I think they will try to uh, bring something forward, but everybody's watching because they've done this before. And uh, it, it's like they're look, looked at as Russian manipulators, like Russians puppets. Um, so I, I get like they have to move on. And again, I'm getting there's a constriction of this argumentative group. Take them off committees or something. For those, my mom passed away in February. I was talking about my adoptive mom that's in the chat. Um, so, yeah, her oh. grand dog. <laughs> my adopted sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Jenny's adopted sister is my adopted mom. That's why this one here is Auntie Biscuits. And then the other one is Nanny Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I get, it doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go anywhere. It's a lot of problems, a lot of confusion. It's just a shit storm really that comes to an end. It's, it's just, no, it's besides her starting up all this stuff, she's over there doing all these interviews. I don't take responsibility. If it happens, it happens. And, blah, 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 blah. and it's just like, no wonder Fox news is just called her an idiot. I mean, we all know she's an idiot. <laughs> She's yeah. just like Trump running her mouth. I mean, she's the female Trump, you know. So when are they going to take an action to try to block her from getting reelected? Like, get another candidate in that well, county. <clears throat> just and and if you remember, there was a bunch of people in her district that were trying to get her kicked off the ballot. Remember that for her participation yes. in January six. So you cannot tell me she's completely favorable. And I get it; it's a deep red district. But you can always run the right candidate in a deep red district and get a fucking crazy like that out of office. Can we ask, will she be sworn in January 3rd or whenever that is, like we're in the House? Will she be sworn in January 3rd, 2025? I have a question after this. We're staying up here all night. I got, yes, she'll be sworn in, but she's going to be blocked. There's the person that runs their mouth and is abusive and critical and angry and just hateful. She's blocked here. But she's still in the house. So she'll be in with the new Congress next year. She's just not going to be able to do much. If that yeah. makes sense. I guess she burdens them emotionally. I, I, I do get like she's sworn in, but be patient because there's something coming for her legally, um, coming directly for her. Or so right after she's sworn in, so whether that's Jack Smith or somebody. So, so here's my next question. And just last week, when we were on your channel, I, we were reading about it how Mike Johnson went down to kiss the ring and did that whole bullshit press conference, <clears throat> sowing the seeds for the next big lie 2.0 that we're not going to let illegal aliens vote in elections. Um, that's already the law. Yeah. But okay. Well, remember we said you're walking on thin ice because it's not going to be long before you get thrown under the bus. That was just last week. Well, this week, Trump has said the famous words about Moses Mike. We'll see what happens. So 
We'll see what happens. Meaning, TikTok, 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 Moses, Mike, you're about to go the dunk under the bus. <laughs> you know, like, um, so is is Donald Trump gonna throw Moses Mike under the bus soon? Because he's he said that about everybody. Like when he was confronted yeah. about stuff about Michael Cohen. We'll see what happens when he was asked yeah. about Rudy uh, Giuliani. We'll see what every time he gets ready to throw somebody under the bus. We'll see what happens. He always says that, and he just said that about Moses Mike. Losing his endorsement. I, I think I think Trump's going to endorse like some woman to be like the Republican speaker. Yeah, um, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna like bully somebody, but because uh, I, I get he's gonna go on to support someone new. Um, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna go anywhere. <clears throat> He's going to lose the endorsement from the liar. There's the liar that tweets and talks a lot and farts a lot. Um, <laughs> but he'll be okay. Moses Mike will be okay. However, if I were the Dems, if I were the Dems, get that shit in writing. Because he's a liar. Yeah. He is a liar. Maybe not a flagrant liar like the guy before him that made deals with everybody to where he did he couldn't keep them all straight. But he's a liar. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, like Kevin McCarthy was a liar who tried to be Weasley but always got caught. This this guy's a liar. He knows how to sell it to you, what he says with a in a very calm manner. Do you see what I'm yeah. saying? Very calm, very. They know that he was in on January 6th. Oh, yeah. you know, so for entertainment purposes only YouTube. Yeah. They, they know he was like endorsing that, like not yeah, accepting the federal college. He was walking around with the paper trying to get people to sign it, you know? Yeah. So but they know he's it twisted. I, I, just get the Ukraine bill through. And get that shit in writing because he's it won't be long before he starts stabbing people in the back. Um, oh, here's a funny one. Melania Trump is now selling necklaces, Mother's Day necklaces for $245. And it ain't even real gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even real gold. It's gold veneer. So you're going to get the uh, green around your neck. <laughs> it's gold veneer. Um, let me see. Hold on. Where, where did I put it? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's selling $245 Mother's Day necklaces, and it's gold veneer. So it's not even real gold. You can get online through those flash sale sites like Rue La La and stuff like that, real gold necklaces for less than $100. $245 with Melania's name on it. It looks like a three leaf clover is what it looks like. Um, you can get it customized any way you want um, for 245 bucks. <laughs> Just what we all need. Let me go spend $245 on gold veneer. I mean, 
they're, they're running out of money because of their legal bills and stuff. So, so, so is she gonna is she gonna sell a lot of those? Um, is she gonna sell a lot of those necklaces? Probably as many as he sold gold tennis shoes and Bibles. <laughs> What's funny is like, uh, like the tennis shoes they were selling them and they weren't even produced yet. You know. So is she going to sell a lot of those necklaces? Melanoma. Mel yeah, she probably, Innocent Potato, yeah, she probably got them on Timu, just like those shoes came off of Timu. Yeah, for Mother's Day, <laughs> for the moms. Yeah, gold vermeil. It's not even real gold. It's, it's gold plated in it. Dear Lord, these people. So will Melanoma sell a bunch of those necklaces? Is it, is it like sold... For a super pack or something, or is it? No, it's on her website. It's on her website, I think, is what I read on um, Midas Touch. There's something funny about it. Um, yeah, and this could be like she sells some to Russia <laughs> or something. I, I'm I'm getting like somebody's going to look into this business, and she might be looking at some kind of legal issue um, over like the value of it. Mm -hmm. um, and also the network of who she's selling to. So, yeah, like if I live in Illinois, if I sell something to someone in California, um, you know, you have to figure out tax. If I'm selling something tangible, you have to figure out the tax in California. Mm -hmm. If I'm there's, some, there's something not right. She's going to get burdened about this. <laughs> I get that she'll sell a couple. It'll be a few. There's the heart, the woman, and the clover for Mother's Day. Uh, a woman that is loved here. A woman that is loved. She'll get a little, she'll, she'll make a little win. Not something huge. It's not, you know, like $800 million. No, it's, it's a little bit. A little bit of money, maybe two thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollars, two hundred thousand, maybe not even that much, you know. Probably but, not four hundred fifty-four million. <laughs> and what's, and what's funny is it's the clover here that when you go and look at the necklace, it looks like a clover. The Too charm funny. itself looks like a little clover, not a four-leaf clover, like a two-leaf clover or three-leaf clover. But she couldn't yeah. afford a four-leaf. No. <laughs> So, you know, so maybe she'll, you know, she probably bought it. Yeah, Charles, she probably got it on Timu for $2.50 and was trying to sell it for $245. Um, so maybe like, maybe she'll sell a couple hundred. I'll just say that just to be gentle, 200. Maybe she'll sell 200 of them. But it's not going to be, <clears throat> you're not going to see that shit at Nordstrom's or Macy's. That's for damn sure. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> You know, um, so let can me we, see. Can we ask about uh, Benny Thompson's bill? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So tell people in the chat in case. Um, yeah, Congressman Benny Thompson, uh, who was on the January 6th committee, um, he introduced a bill to strip Secret Service from convicted felons. <laughs> um, and, you know, it may even go like further uh, strip other things like pensions and stuff from convicted felons. Um, it's called the Disgraced Former Protectees Act. Will he be successful in getting this through the House? The Disgraced Former Protectees Act. Oh my God. Yeah. Leftover shamrock necklaces from the St. Patrick's day. Yeah, probably, probably. But they, you know, the one thing they've been saying is secret service could block 
Mm. from having to go to prison. So no, they can't. Um, with if you strip Secret Service, then you do the crime. You do the and then crime. Why, why should the taxpayers keep paying this bastard for his Secret Service detail for him and his wife? And I'm but sure Melania, um, <clears throat> Ivanka, and Kushner probably have service. I don't know. They were in his cabinet. I don't know if that applies to everybody yeah. or just former presidents. And then on top of that, a pension when he tried to overturn an election. No. Like, you don't get to get fired and keep your pay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so will the bill pass to the disgraced the former protectees act? Will it get passed? What is it called? The disgraced former protectees act. So, like, if you you're you were a protectee, but then you did something disgraceful and, and you got convicted of a felon, the disgraced former protect protectees act. <laughs> I think it will, but not till after the election. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, it's, it's like there's a lot of people in secret that are coming together on this. Um, I, I get it'll be successful, but after like the moving forward after the election um, and to go after those that are convicted, those that are corrupt, that are proven to be thieves or corrupt or, or like Trump. Um, I, I get it, they secure it, but it's probably not till like the new uh house is sworn in, the new Congress. Looks like they are Mother's Day. Maybe she will follow up with a who gives a fuck about Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> who gives a fuck about Mother's Day. <laughs> uh, not under Mike Johnson because he would have to deliver it. The, the delivery liar. Betrayer, man. Mm -mm. This man, problems, confused, and he has the house. So not until there's a new house. So that in January, there's a, person, there's a person that needs to deliver it. It's a man. That ain't gonna happen because there's problems with that delivery. There's a problem with the with with the delivery. So he probably won't even let it come to the floor for a vote. And even if it did with the Republican majority or a they, debate won't even come to the floor. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. We already read on to stop the trial. We got that one done already. Um, are Trump's lawyers advising him about his behavior? I, I would love to look at that. Like, are they giving, because not only is he sitting there, eyeballing the jurors and trying to intimidate them. He's sitting there on his phone, chewing gum. Two things that are not supposed to be like in the courtroom. You know what I mean? Getting up when he's not supposed to get like sleeping, farting, sleeping, making farting. noises, grumbling, you know, making comments. Mm -hmm. So are his lawyers well, they just trying to hold their nose and grin and bear it. Are they giving him advice? See, they can give all the advice they want. He's not going to listen. No. He's going to end up in that little box and then detained until trial. And we all know, even, even if he is convicted from this trial, we all know he's just going to try to appeal. Yeah. He's not going to be able to make the bond, but he's going to try to... <laughs> So, 
Are his lawyers adv advising him on his behavior? Yes. They're, they're uh, you know, talking about his emotions and, and his image in the court uh, will make him look, you know, unbalanced and everything. And they're trying to protect him, talking to him. His Here's his lawyers talking to him, advising. But they're waiting on him to change. He's not going to change. He's steady as you go. He's going to keep doing what he's doing. Uh, they, they've pretty much given up on the loser. <laughs> I, I think they know... <laughs> they're going to lose this case and, and they've, they've given up on trying to um, get him to change his ways. Cause you know, he's the bully. Trump's mm -hmm. the bully. So they do try to advise him though. I get the moon, the clouds and the man. Yeah. They're telling him this is making you look really, really bad. If this is your fame and your reputation, you're making it look very questionable and it's him. See, so all this happens to him. You're like, this is this is not a show. This is not the media. This is not a show. You're making yourself look bad. You know, you know you guilty as fuck, homeboy. At least trying to look, at least try to, to play the part. Think of it as a TV show. And he's just, his performance is just awful. But... You know, I, you and I talked about this. I think it was in the after show uh, last week, or maybe it, it might have been later in the week. We talked about it. Well, yeah, because he he does all this, and the judge, you know, he can say whatever, and it falls on deaf ears with Trump. Well, the judge order a court ordered mental health evaluation of this I'm, man. I'm, I'm going to sit this one out because of that grand tableau, and that's what we were talking about when we talked on the phone a couple days ago. Yeah, the, the judge order a court order mental health evaluation on this man. Because um, for those of you that are new, I did a grand tableau last year. That was good through March of this year. And it showed a hereditary um, illness that comes from the father and mother um, that has to do with aging and it's chronic and it gets worse. And in that grand tableau, it showed a strategy to get out of convictions and stuff like that by looking at health, to look at the health as an oust. Um, and Jenny has always seen Trump in a straight jacket. So I had always wondered, I was like, is he going to use mental health or something as a way to get out of stuff? And the more that he sits in court, the more stressful it becomes for him. And the more he deteriorates, not just because of his dementia, but because of his pathological or, uh, disorders that he has that have been untreated for, for decades. Narcissism. Getting, yeah. He's a narcissist and a fucking sociopath, you know? And, um, and so it's almost like he is incapable. Um, he is incapable of, of even if they tell him and warn 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 him, there's something up here to where self-regulation. He can't yeah. regulate himself. Uh-huh. So what did you get, Danny? I get erratic behavior in court, um, you know, used as a manipulation because he doesn't accept what's, what's going on that being trump um and then let's evaluate let's evaluate him let's send him off let's get the details send him away for evaluation let's get a report um i get a big old yes so yes yeah. and and it's funny too because then george conway i think it was last week or whatever on twitter said i would not be surprised if judge mershon eventually orders uh a psychiatric evaluation that was coming from George Conway mm -hmm. who said, I would not be surprised if there's a judge that orders a, a, a psychiatric evaluation just because of his behavior, no impulse control, 
No, I mean, it's just. Yeah. And he, he's all, yeah, most of the readers, like we don't see him in jail. We see him constricted somehow, but we don't see him in jail. And it's like, that would be the easiest way to get him out of the way as a national security risk is to commit him somewhere because they've got a, a mental evaluation on him that, that, is like this person is can't can't stand trial, so we're just going to lock him up in a mental hospital. I still want the son of a bitch to go in jail, but <clears throat> I mean, you know, and and I don't want him to be mentally ill, not because out of the kindness of my heart. <laughs> no, I don't want him to be mentally ill, so he's completely cognitive of the fucking consequences, not because I'm a nice person. <laughs> so don't get it twisted. Um, so, okay. So Mike Johnson, I'm speculating based on this grand tableau that he was in some sort of a meeting where reality came in. And he's like, Oh shit, I got to do something about Ukraine. So I believe they put the package to the floor yesterday. I think it went through. Correct. Yeah. Ukraine yeah. Package Over 300 through. votes. 112 Republicans voted against it, but it went through. There were like 102 or 108 that voted for it. Okay, so so my question is, because Mike Johnson finally did his goddamn job and stopped listening to the, to the orange clown. Don't even get me started because I will go on a rant. Instead of listening to the orange clown in Florida, shitting his diapers and sitting in criminal trial in New York, um, and and the Russian agent, Marjorie Three Toes Gang Green, um, and they're finally doing the right thing. Will this help the GOP um, favorability? Yeah, I saw that, Harold. His son is entering military service, and then in his speech, he's like, I'd rather do this and send American men and women. Motherfucker, you should have done this seven or eight months ago to where it didn't get to where it is now, you know? But, and, and, and despite all the intelligence briefings, no, 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 it's not real. It's not real. It's not real. And then all of a sudden, oh, shit, you know? Uh, you know, that's a no card for me. It's it's like they'll be burdened by the med messaging from the loser that's in charge, meaning Trump. So Trump's going to like ridicule them for passing that. So no, it's not going to help them. No, it's not going to that's help their, them. That's their legacy because they're viewed as liars. You can't believe anything they say. There's the lie, the betrayal, everything they say, and then making people suffer and be in pain. So it's not just Ukraine, it's everything else. Yeah. Oh, your 10 year old daughter just got raped? That's nice, that's God's will. Have fun giving birth to a rapist's baby. Oh, and you're in elementary school? Tough shit, you know, like it's it's a lot of the, they are not trusted. They are no longer trusted. And it's not just on the abortion issues and everything else, taking away child lunches and everything else. It's, you have enabled a criminal. And then here we are almost four years after he left and you're still enabling a criminal and going against your own country for a madman. Well, you know? And, and the, the dyed in the wool Republicans are going to listen to Trump. So if Trump is saying they shouldn't have passed that, it's, it's actually going to hurt him more. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here's a fun one. Since we're on that, I didn't get what state he was on or what state he is from. But there's a Republican by the name of Republican representative by the name of Tony Gonzalez, and he's on the Appropriations Committee. He was on CNN. And he says, and I quote, I serve with some real scumbags. Matt Gates, he paid minors to have sex with him at drug parties. Bob Good endorsed a known neo-Nazi. These people used to walk around with white hoods at night. Now they're walking around with white hoods in the daytime. I don't know what state he's from. It didn't say it on the little thing on the bottom in CNN. But those were his those were his words. And he's a Republican? And he's a Republican on the appropriate. What's his name? Tony, let me see. Tony Gonzalez. 
on CNN. Oh, they're saying he's from Texas. Yeah, he's Texas. 43 years old. Mm-hmm. And Matt Gates is over there banging minors at drug parties. I'm surprised he didn't say anything about Gang Green over there being a Russian agent. You know, um, my this question is, you know, Madison Cawthorn, you know, talked about their sex parties. Sex parties and he, was ejected, he was ejected real quick. I mean, that dumb son of a bitch did all sorts of stuff and nobody touched him until he talked about the sex parties and then ejected. Yeah. You know, it, Kevin McCarthy, you know, now that he's not speaker, is talking about Matt Gates. You know, yeah. he wanted me to squelch the investigation into his yeah. underage. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my question is we all know that there's the Republican Party is fracturing between the crazy maggots and the semi sane Republicans, but they still go along with the crazy maggots and the extreme right wing agenda, even though they can see the writing on the wall and they know that it's not, it's political suicide. And they know they, I mean, it's just like you, it's like you're driving a car and you see the edge of a cliff and you're like, Nope, I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you I'm know, just going to speed up. <laughs> I'm just going to speed up. <laughs> Maybe I'll fly, you know? Um, I just, I just want to know what is the game plan? Because Marjorie Taylor Green, there has been a lot of, um, you know, the the commentators on the news saying that she is, she is the power in the GOP. I don't think so. I think she's just the loudest. Um, but 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 I want to know. I don't even know how to word it, Jenny. Like. Is there a plan from like the sane GOP to get their party back from the fucking crazies that are just to shrink MAGA? To yeah, shrink to shrink MAGA. MAGA. Cause it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It's the only hope of a party surviving. Or 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 you gotta split it and have a MAGA party and a Republican party mm -hmm. or So do the regular Republicans have a plan to shrink the MAGA? And I think it's great. I think the Democrats should make Marjorie Taylor Greene the face of the freaking Republican Party because she is repulsive. 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 A hateful, ignorant moron that's too stupid to know she's stupid. You know? Um, yes, they have a plan. Yes. Um, and to, you know, try to get away from Trump a little bit too here with the blue card. Um, there's, there's a lot of egos at play here though. There's a lot of corruption. There's a lot of egos, but I get taking an action with their donors, like, and, like telling the donors to block giving to those that they don't want them to give to. So behind the scenes, there's conversations going on with donors. That's the only way they can hit them. They're, they're laying low, you know, it's quite, it's a manipulation thing. They're, they're laying low about it, but um, they're going to try to hit them in the pocketbook. Because we know the RNC isn't giving them any money because it's all going to Trump, right? <laughs> We're going to get to the RNC in a minute. Because, I mean, didn't he bankrupt a casino once? <laughs> like, Lara, Lara Trump running that. That was like, God, oh my God you can't the other day. You cannot make this shit up. You can't. Like, I've got a singing career and I run the RNC, so I can give all my money to to my father-in-law <laughs> and then they're going to start charging down ticket people five percent if yeah. they use his name if they use trump's name because that's a brand name yeah that's a brand name like he's fucking nike or something i get that 
they do have a plan that they're committed to to transition away from the growing problems that are that part of the aisle. There's also plans um, widespread. So I don't know if it's if it's just the House and the Senate, or we're also talking locally at state levels as well, for people that have been compromised by foreign interests that are becoming a problem. There's the compromise, the agreements, foreign trouble and liars. So idiots like Marjorie Taylor Greene that just spews Russian prop. Did you see that bill? that she brought to the floor for the Ukraine, Jenny? Yeah, it, I mean, it's just Russian propaganda. It's, it's... To, to that, that Ukraine, in order to fund Ukraine, Ukraine has to commit to stopping abortions, to stop practicing abortions. So now we have, now Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks she has the authority to tell another sovereign nation what laws they can have. And then she goes on to say that they need to stop persecuting Christians. And then yeah, she yeah. goes on to say that any member in the house that votes to fund Ukraine should go fight in Ukraine. It's like, okay, bitch, how about we drop you off in fucking Russia? Cause you can yeah. do the same, you know, like. It's, it's all Russian propaganda. Cause she, she repeats that there's Nazis, you know, in Ukraine all the time. Did and you see that professor? The problem is the people going against the MAGAs, they got to be afraid of the MAGA constituents, you know, because they're dangerous, you know, yeah. so they got to be, they got to do it very subtly because they're afraid that they're going to come after them in their own homes and stuff. And the, she was spewing that bullshit. There was that professor, I forget his name. I watched it when she was spewing the bullshit about Russia, basically saying Russia is our best friend you know, and, um, and, oh, and then something about the Nazis in Ukraine. And I'm like, you stupid. And I reserve this word for the worst of the worst. So you all might want to cover your ears. You stupid fucking cunt. Like, I mean, I just, I, I, I don't have words for how vile, ignorant and stupid and hateful that woman is like she's you a national think... security risk. Yes, I mean, she yes. is a national security risk. Yes, and it's like you would think that she would have aides that would look this stuff up, so she doesn't look like a moron when she goes on the house and starts the Nazis in Ukraine. You do realize that uh, Zelensky is Jew, right? Like, did did you or did you miss the memo? Like, I mean, it's just. But the, but the other thing idiot. that she forgets, like. Um, Ukraine is a predominantly um, Catholic Christian yes. country, you know, yes. population-wise percentage. I mean, they, uh, Archangel Michael is one of their big patron saints, or whatever. It's, yeah, it's and then and then people on Russian television or Russian television RT are praising Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, just and like then, just like Tucker Carlson yeah. and yeah. And then I was watching, um, who's that guy that goes around interviewing the idiots at Trump rallies? He makes fun of them. Uh, uh, the guy from the Daily Show. Uh, I think so. I think uh, so. Uh, shoot. Oh, I forget his name. He was doing an interview with this woman. And he's asking her about her views about Russia invading Ukraine. Well, I don't see nothing wrong with it. They're just taking back what's theirs. Yeah. And I was like, and I'm sitting here, okay, well then fuck it. Let Mexico come in and take California and fucking Texas because they're just taking back what's theirs. Just give it back. You Jordan know, Jordan Clapper, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Jordan Clapper. Yeah. I mean, these people are fucking stupid. Yeah, but because they've been brainwashed by Trump that it's okay for Russia to go after Ukraine. You know, that that's they're and idiots. They're they don't march all over Europe. They're not gonna stop at Ukraine, you know, and it's just like these these people. And the disservice that is Fox News to just keep these people angry it, and, and it misinformed and misinformed, you know. But it's just like I just you know, can't believe we got to. And then oh, but we're patriots. You're a fucking patriot. My dog is a bigger fucking patriot than you. 
you know like it's just well, i just bill barr who was not endorsing trump is now endorsing trump yeah, so yeah. what the hell happened there he uh, thinks it's bill barr jen it's yeah bill he thinks barr. biden and, and the the liberals are a bigger threat than trump yeah give me a break then then I you want to get in there and get a pardon again <laughs> And the only reason Rachel Maddow did a great show the other day on the reason why this whole mess with New York is the took so long because it's of Bill the Bar. Because and then and then he comes out and endorses Trump after she did the. It's like uh oh well, no, but don't forget he did an interview a little bit ago where he was like, no, this man is a national security risk. He should never be allowed around the White House again. He shouldn't be yeah. anywhere near the presidency. Yeah, I'll endorse him because he's better than Biden. What? What once it you know is the attention is drawn to what Barr did to block things for Trump and manipulated the DOJ and everything for him. Oh oh I, I yeah I'm gonna endorse Trump. I don't I just don't understand. So maybe, what's, what's maybe, in it for Barr? Maybe what's his face doesn't have the balls to do it, but somebody should open up a fucking special counsel investigation into Bill Barr because he's weaponized the freaking. DOG. The, the DOD. So will Bill Barr be investigated by a special counsel? Can we ask that? Okay. Well, and it was interesting too, like that he resigned and left when they were a in the plane. Of days. Of the insurrection he knew it was he, coming. Knew, he knew about he it knew. he knew and he was like yeah i'll commit all the other crimes but this one's a bit too much he fucking knew so they're gonna return to him because you know you know trying to block the government from biden getting in you know the republicans trying to block that they're gonna return to bill barr um, and I'm getting, he's going to get very, very burdened. Uh, um, DOJ may come after him for all his sneaky dealings. He's going to have big, big, big regrets. Um, I get a big yes. I get a big yes that they're going to investigate him. I get the, um, the liar that uh, ended. Well, that's about to be resurrected and come back. Because there's a whole bunch of shit that we don't even know about that Bill Barr covered up to make Trump look good. Yeah. He said I, he I guarantee you they'll bring back Mueller and uh, everything that came up. Then. So can we ask real quick? I want to ask, why why did he flip so quick on endorsing Trump? Why did Barr flip so quick on endorsing Trump? Mm-hmm. He just trying to protect his own butt or what? I mean, he did it all in plain sight. You know, every time he was on TV, we were all like, oh, my God. He's saying the opposite of what we all saw with our own eyes. He knows they're going to revisit him. He knows they're going to come back and burden the crap out of him. Again, DOJ coming after him. He's trying to look like he plays both sides of the aisle, but he's not. Uh, so he's he's definitely... Um, there, there's stuff that he knew, I think, about the insurrection. And I, I get, you know, when Kamala and... Biden win again, like there'll be something investigating him. But the question was, why did he flip on endorsing Trump? Um, I think it's protection. I, th I think he knows that that they're going to come after him and he's going to get burdened through the court system here. Um, you know, and, and the, there'll be some sort of government investigation into him too. And um, 
things are going to come out about what he knew about the insurrection. Because let's not forget, Trump was saying, you know, a year before the election, um, if I don't win, it was fixed. Yeah. You know, so there were planning things that were happening well oh, in advance. Yeah. Well in advance. Resigned. Well in advance. So he's and he's so definitely and, and in secret he's probably talking to some other Republicans and stuff. So he there's a whole network of this that's gonna get exposed and he's he's trying to cover his butt. I why did he flip? I get the snake, the garden, the heart, the lilies, and the dog. Not so much for Trump, because he could give two shits about Trump. No, it's self motivated. He's lying because there is a party or an organization that he is very loyal to that is very conservative and lily white. So I don't know if he's part of the, the heritage Federalist. or the Federalist, but it's right yeah. here. And that's it's what perfect. he's loyal to. So, okay, we'll get a dictator and somebody that'll break the entire government, but that's okay. This is who I'm loyal to. And I'm it's in line with the your ideology of what society should be like. Society, garden and lily society that is very conservative. He is he yeah. is not with Trump. He is no. not. He, he, <clears> his loyalty Trump. doesn't lie with Trump. His loyalty is to that, whatever that organization is that that is lily white, but it's not religious. Yeah, so it's like the heritage. That said religious, so I don't know if it's heritage or if it's uh, uh, federalist or what, but it's one of those that he's loyal to, not Trump. And their ideology of it. Um, so let me see. I had some questions here from. Um, okay. Here's a question from Allie. She said, hi, Allie. I know she can't type in the chat. Um, uh, Three Toes Gang Green said on Sunday that her motion to vacate the speakership is coming no matter what uh, House Speaker Mike Johnson decides to do, while also dodging questions about an alternative plan if he is booted. So let's start here. Will Mike Johnson be ousted as speaker? Because some of the Democrats have already said we won't protect them if they if they do else. <laughs> you know, like yeah, they, but a lot of them said if he passes Ukraine, we'll that they would him. try to protect mm -hmm. him a little. They're they're kind of split. Some of them. And then she's over there doing interviews. I don't care if it's in chaos. He doesn't. He's not for our party. He's a Democrat. Blah blah. blah. And it's just like. Go ahead and burn the house down, girlfriend. Go ahead and burn the whole goddamn house down right before the elections. Remind America yet again, while the Republicans should not be allowed to ever be anywhere near power, please, for the people in the back, <laughs> you know? So will Mike Johnson get ousted as speaker? Well, they look at Marjorie as a liar. That's sure, right? Like, so she thinks she's going to get in. That ain't going to work. Um, I, I do think there'll be something new that uh, comes up with Mike Johnson, and he's going to be fighting to try to retain um, uh, his seat. Um, he's showing up here as the King of Pentacles. But I, I get my pack your bags, you're moving. There's some people that are dissatisfied with the work, and boom, they're going to blow it all up again. Uh, I don't he's how he's going to stay there, but it may it may take a little while for them to oust him. So it may not be like April, May. It may be later. And I I'll be you. right back. There's the baby. There's the baby. I had to let her in. She was hey, Brasky. There's the baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Say hi to your, all your friends. Look, say hi to your friends. Peggy, here's your kid. Here's your kid, Peggy. You see, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know. Look, 
Look, Roxy. Look, there's, say hi to Auntie Biscuits and Nanny Biscuits. Yeah, look, see, that's you right there. She's getting big, Mom. She's getting big, a whole nine months old. She'll be 10 months old already. Wait, hold on. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Wait, hold on. July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Peggy, she's going to be 10 months old tomorrow. You're going to become 10 months old tomorrow, Braxy. So tomorrow is her 10-month-old birthday. Yeah? Yeah? I'm telling that. I love my little niece. <laughs> and, and Auntie Biscuits. I just realized, Jenny, she's going to be 10 months old tomorrow. My little niece pony. <laughs> the little monster. The little monster. I love her so much. So, so much. We went to the farmer's market. Um, I was telling Jenny, but for the rest of you guys, we went to the farmer's market uh, last week and she just, she had all sorts of fun. She made friends everywhere and she saw her other friend that's also a Connie Corso, um, Zena. We ran into her at the farmer's market. So say, I like mommy more than daddy because mommy takes me all to all the special places and daddy smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> um i get that he'll be fine he'll be fine um because it's the lilies and then the stars and the fish um he'll he'll be okay he'll be okay um let me see yes she does look slick and shiny she's got the shiniest healthy fur yeah see because mommy gives me baths huh Want to see, see Auntie Biscuits right there? Look, it's Auntie Biscuits. I see you. Who's talking to you? What's that? Little Becca Bellatrix went to the ladies' room with me. Who's that, Braxy? Yeah, she's like, who is that? Where are Who's the kitties? Who's that? I love when dogs tilt their heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, baby. I don't understand. She's flat. <laughs> Why'd you get stuck in that box? <laughs> <laughs> like, let me look around the box. <laughs> um, so here's another here's another question from uh, from Allie. She wanted to know if Marjorie has aspirations for being speaker because in her tableau it's birds woman, so speaker woman. I think I, I think she does, but. We'll see. I think she does too. Ever I since think she knows she's not she's not gonna be Trump's VP pick. When when Kevin McCarthy was trying to please everybody and he was trying to give her power, remember he let her uh run over uh hold whatever in the house a few times. And I think that little bit got to her head. Like she wants that power. So does Marjorie Taylor Greene want to be speaker? And I'll tell you what, I bet you two, I bet you two whole dollars, Jen, two whole dollars that that stupid bitch doesn't even know how government works. She, she doesn't understand, like, they're always having to explain to her how a bill works and stuff. She doesn't understand anything. Um, yes, yeah, she would, she would fight for it. Uh, you know, she, she thinks that she could get the vote. She would definitely fight for it. Um, she she thinks that um, she's also good at fundraising, you know. So she thinks that buys her some leverage, but you know, she she'll never get it. She'll never get it in the house. I got woman, man, crossroads. Yeah, speak, speaker dead. <laughs> speak no. She'd get backstabbed. Speaker ending. Woman, man. When they show up this close, facing each other, it shows a partnership. And then the crossroads for elections. Yeah, she'll take speakership for now, but she's aiming for something else. She, she wants that VP. So, so hypothetically, hypothetically, does Marjorie Taylor Greene have the votes to become speaker? <laughs> the bully. <laughs> Nope. 
very disgusted with her. Nope, nope. Burn the house down before she's speaker. Absolutely so she would, not. She would be worse than than what's the the auctioneer over there, Jim Jordan. She she would get so so few votes it would make her anxious. <laughs> nope. Does she have the votes to be speaker? Let's see. Does she have the votes to be speaker? Does she have the votes to be speaker? She thinks that she can get an endorsement from a very lucky, risky man, meaning Trump. But no, because he loses too, man and mice. He's nervous or he's a thief. But she thinks she could with his support if he endorsed her. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. If so, he endorsed her. but Okay, so they have the Republican National Convention in July, right? Because the Democrats are in August. Mm -hmm. Um. If they do a, a mental health check before ordered on Trump before that, like, like, just yes, no. Will Trump be the nominee at the Republican National Convention? Will Trump, Trump be, be the, the nominee? nominee? You and I have always gotten a female, but let's I, see. I've always gotten a woman too. Yeah. Maybe my cards are wrong. Maybe I fucked up, but. So will Trump be the nominee at the Republican National Convention? Will Trump be the nominee? I get a woman, Jen. A successful woman is delivered or she visits. See? Optimistic, success, a lot of energy, woman. And there's the news. I get they I get they shift too. It's like they right now, it's like they think, yeah, it's gonna be him and the Republican Party returning to the one, but but I think there's a court order coming that affects his image and they shift. Um, and I, I'm not getting a flat out woman, but I'm getting a feminine energy here with the high priestess. I get a woman clear. Yeah, he's burdened. He sent, he sent away. I get, I, I've always gotten a woman and. I've always gotten a woman um, on the ballot in November, but I, I, I think Trump's going to be sent away. And here's my oh, thing. Then. Well, let's ask it this way. Just and maybe I should do a. Let me write that down before I forget. Hold on. Tune in for the next Grand Tableau on Nikki Haley, because I don't think I've done one on her, and that'd be interesting to see. To see if they bring her back as the nominee. Because I've always gotten a woman. Um, to I've, I've always gotten a woman is on the ticket in November, so um, I Which don't know. Which could that's, mean that's... he's convicted, and because in his Grand Tableau, the, not the one from last year, the one that I just did just recently a couple months ago, it shows that he is convicted from the spring through early fall. In that time frame, sometime he's convicted. Well, the trial started in April. Just, well, it starts tomorrow, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact. For the month of April in that grand tableau, it shows a conviction. Well, it's not a conviction. It's the trial. Yeah. And, then, and then from April through, I think it was September, October, there's convictions too. You know, so from spring to fall it's bad and i in that tableau if i interpreted it correctly he's nowhere near the election he's nowhere near yeah. it you he, know i i think he's put in isolation somewhere like they they aren't able to put him in jail because he's mentally unfit i, mm -hmm. I think they'll put him in isolation somewhere so so will nikki haley be the republican nominee at, after the convention, will Nikki Haley be a Republican nominee after the convention? Will Nikki Haley be the Republican nominee?
The one that's on the ticket has problems and gets taken away. There's somebody new. Yeah, I get I get the celebrated man. It, they're they're not satisfied with and they change it mm -hmm. um, again to a woman. Um, there's support for a woman. They're gonna pull up. And here's the thing. There's a there's a change to put someone else up on the ticket. Nikki Haley. Trump's not going to get her 23% of voters that she was able to pull away from him. She's not. What concerns me about Nikki Haley is that she's able to take Republicans and independents away. And she is anti-abortion, which makes me not understand how you can be, okay, I'm for Nikki Haley when she's telling you every day she's anti-abortion. So how can you be pro-choice? Yeah but vote for Nikki Haley. Make she, still, make sense. she still won't get the women's boots in America. Mm -hmm. She's still, there's too much conflict. So, I mean, every day they should run on the, the me too movement, the women's movement. Cause that's, that's, who's going to get Biden elected. Yep. So I, I have it on my to-do list here. Hopefully my week is not too insane. You know, what's been going on at my work. So it's been busy. So hopefully I won't be brain fried. Cause it would be interesting to see. Nikki Haley's grand tableau. Um, so any other questions, Jenny, that you have? Uh, there? Another one that Ali had sent us an article on, which I don't, I don't know if you had a chance to read it. The Save America PAC, Trump's PAC, has spent $59.5 million on legal fees since 2023. Are you serious? serious right now and the only way the save america pack is still functioning is because this make america great again pack has transferred money uh like five million at a time like in but the the make america great pack uh is limited in how much it can transfer to another pack so is trump's save america pack that's been paying all his legal bills is it about to fold so what was the name of the pack again? Save America Pack. Save America Pack. Trump Save America. Save America because it's it's basically Save My Ass America Pack because he uses it all for legal bills. Save America, Save America Pack. No, but oh, it is very burdened. <laughs> That's right on the bottom. It is burdened, burdened, burdened. Ask it this way: <clears throat> Show me the finances of this saving America pack. Where is my bear? It's in big chaotic. The details of it are just total chaos. Big, big. It's it's ready to go under. Um, um, there may be a woman doing a little bit in donations, but I get a, you know, uh, ending here and trying to cover it up. Um, I would not be surprised <clears throat> if there will be some investigation in the future for widespread fraud. The heart, the, the, I focused on the bear and pulled the bear out too. That's too my hard. investigator card too. For, for financing and it's tree heart bear. So the growth that's desired financially, well, it's followed by Fox and, stars widespread fraud widespread financial fraud so he's not, he's not gonna be able I to mean, pay everywhere he problem. goes there's fraud yeah you know so and, and unpaid lawyers <laughs> unpaid lawyers fraud so i'm not sure what these three here financial fraud that is widespread okay um i'm not sure if that would be some sort of 
FEC violation, the Federal Elections Commission or something. I don't know where that falls under, but it's almost like there's fraud here. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's an investigation eventually, if that makes any yeah. sense. I, w I have one last question. Yeah, for sure. Is Trump embarrassed at his dark, dark farter memes and <laughs> is he embarrassed that he blew up so big on Twitter and on the and on the news Where's, that he was farting in court? And they're calling him Don uh, Don Farliotti and Fart Fartliotti and I mean just you like I mean they're calling him all sorts of stuff. Trump sheets was trending again, and it's like you know, hit him, hit him in his ego. That's the only and, way to to hit Trump. And not just that, for a malignant narcissist who pays people to tell him how great he is every day. Yeah, in his whole picture book. Look, look back. Up. I've got my book. It tells me how great I am. Except I, I don't like that sentence. Okay. Yeah, I'm so wonderful. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, time, and after he fell asleep in court, you know, he used to call Sleepy Joe, Sleepy Joe. You never hear hear him refer to Biden as Sleepy Joe anymore because, you know, Don Snorleone. <laughs> and for the raging narcissist that he is, and he has to sit there and listen to all these people that were being selected for the jury, all the things they had to say about him. All the bad things they yeah, had. The ones that are like, no, I can't be unbiased about with yeah. them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Death by a thousand cuts on that one. And uh, Mary Trump did a great interview the other day. I saw her on YouTube. I forget what channel it was. It was on a channel that I'm not familiar with. But she was saying that this is like the worst narcissistic uh, injury that he could have. Yeah. For being it's held different. accountable. And having to sit there where he's not in control of the narrative, he's not in control of the situation, he can't control anything, and he has to sit there and hear people say what they really think about him. And he, he was even um, uh, complaining about the the art, the sketch artists in the court, you know, making him look bad. And it's like, but he did look bad. He had huge bags under his eyes. He looked awful sitting there. He looks like him sleeping. He looks like he literally puts his hand in his diaper and smears it all over his face. Like, I mean, just, that's why I was asking you the other day. I was like, does he do his own makeup? Cause holy shit. He's, he's getting slammed so much, you know, on social media and everything. If it's hitting his, his ego, of course they got to give him in court, his little crayon books that try to pump him up again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Is he embarrassed? Yeah. He's embarrassed about his looks, what they say about his looks. The the bouquet here, this covers everything that has to do with beauty. Hair, makeup, perfume, what you smell like, hygiene. Okay? The, the clover is a little bit of luck. So he's very much bothered with the key here about articles about his makeup, his clothing, his hair, what he smells like. I don't know why he's being quiet about it. I'm surprised he hasn't been tweeting all over the place, but, and because the bouquet is the card of beauty and joy, this is also in reference to a person that is a narcissist because they see themselves as beautiful and this, that, and the and he, that's all he wants to be seen as the best of everything. You know, so I get a yes. I get that he's embarrassed. Thank you, lucky girl. She's saying Sage the Scales posted diaper Don. What's that odor you got on? You know, Delta <laughs> Don. <laughs> I mean, they, it was trending on Twitter, uh, odor in the court instead of order in the court. Yeah. <laughs> he is he is very much burdened. <clears throat> by what is being said and feeling backstabbed and highly emotional. Yeah, he's about to lose his mind over this. Um, 
there's there's some people that he's partnered with before that he's um, thinking about breaking from even because they've even repeated it. So, yeah, he is he is not mentally in a good place right now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> I I really do hope that my work week this week is not as crazy as it has been because I'm very curious to do a Nikki Haley Grant tableau and go back at look at Trump's that we did. I think it was we, March. His, uh, when I've watched astrologers looking at um, Trump's chart, like April, May, June, it, it just gets worse and worse it's and fucked. worse as the year goes on. It, it's awful. It's fucked. Um, <clears throat> so I'd be curious because I need to review Donald Trump's recent one, which I think we did in March. And, it, um, <laughs> and do Nikki Haley. The, you saw where uh, Stephen Miller said that Trump and Melania, Trump was a fashion icon that everybody tried to dress like him. And it's like, what, in diapers? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Your long ass tie because you don't know how to tie a tie. <laughs> overweight in high heels. When he stands, With he leans on like brown this, crap on your face. You know, brown crap on your face, a dead possum on your head. And a wife who splattered naked all over the internet. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, so they're fashion icons for, you know, <laughs> trashy people like we see in all the Mar-a-Lago photos. <clears throat> you know, oh my God, those women at Mar-a-Lago, Jen, it's like, I don't know what it is if it's the obscene amount of plastic surgery and fake tanner. You do. Or you. They're all former porn stars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, it looks like a porn star convention. It does. It, it's just like plastic surgery to the extreme, fake tans to the extreme. Pumped up lips that in a grotesque, god awful way. I, I, toilet plunger. It's a toilet, like, it's a fucking toilet plunger on their face. <laughs> you know, these women that are probably in their 50s that look like they're 70 years old trying to pass for a 30 year old because of all the plastic surgeries. Show me, show me. All for this guy. Yeah. All for this guy. <laughs> You know, and then on top of it, you're at this, you're at a freaking crime scene because the classified documents case, you know what I mean? It's like anywhere you go in Trump world, Bedminster, Trump Tower, Mar a Lago, anywhere you go, you're at a crime scene because he's committed crimes everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it, and it's just the, the, the women that keep showing up on the pictures of Mar a Lago, it's like, you know what? I am not against nip and tuck. I'm not one of those. You want to go get some nipping and some tucking and some whatever? That's fine. But holy shit, can you stop? It, there has to be a point where you where you just stop. Well, the, the amount of makeup they put on too, it's like, oh my God. That, that picture of this lady that I swear, Jen, she, she, was, she looked like a 70-year-old trying to look like a 30-year-old because of all the plastic surgery and the fake tanning and the tanning where her face is like this. Her boobs are out to here. She's wearing a dress that's barely covering her ass and heels this tall, you know, <laughs> lips this big. But then you look at her neck and it's all fucking just wrinkly. It's like, what the hell? You look like the <laughs> you know, like, it, it, well, it's just It's gross. We did miss Johnny tonight, um, but he will be here next week and we are on Johnny's channel next Sunday. Yeah. Little Ray Ray will be back probably. <laughs> and Braxy's over here. You can't see her because she's like, well, you can kind of see her little head right there. My little baby. You want to say night night to Auntie Biscuits and Nanny Biscuits? She's like, no, I'm laying down, Ma. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so stay, stay tuned. Hopefully, knock on wood, I can go live with Nikki Haley. Grand Tableau this week um peace out everybody thank you so reach, much yeah we visit your other ones too <laughs> yeah yeah bye, bye everybody, everybody.